Well, salutations, kindred spirits, greetings. Welcome back to another weekly Wednesday magic lesson. And yeah, you guessed it. Today we're talking about the paste boards. In particular, we're going to talk about some interesting ways to cut the deck and not cut the deck. And in fact, I got some interesting applications for all these cuts. Ultimately, we'll build up to the Jerry Griffin blind swivel cut. That's a false cut. A false cut taught by request from one of our members. So yeah, you ask for help, you get help. That's why I'm here. And hey, let's get started now. Let's zoom in for some card cutting action. All right, so yeah, we're gonna talk about a couple of uh, cutting styles, the kick cut, the swivel cut. I'll explain some applications for each of these moves and ultimately we'll lead into the Jerry Griffin blind swivel cut, which is a great false cut I've been using for many moves. Let's start at the uh, swivel. The swivel cut is a cut that I learned from Harry Lorraine in the Magic Book, which is his wonderful beginner text. I'll talk about that more next week, but here's the swivel cut. You start with the thumb at the inner right corner, the second uh, and third fingers at the outer right corner. Your forefinger from your opposite hand is going to lift up about a half of the pack at the inner left corner and then it swivels it around the second finger. So it swivels around the second finger of the cutting hand and it swivels 180 degrees into, into a mechanics grip of the waiting hand and the other portion is dropped on top. So this is the basic swivel cut. Again, thumb at the corners, fingers at the other corners, the opposite forefinger lifts up about half of the deck, pivots at 180 degrees into the awaiting hand, the swivel cut. That's the direct cut. If you want to make this a false cut, do this. Swivel the upper pack into your hand and then leapfrog that packet with the right hand's portion and complete the cut, which is actually not cutting the deck at all. But done at speed, it adds a certain uh, je ne sais quoi that makes it an illusion of cutting the deck. So here I am leaving a card face up atop the pack. And if I were to turn that card face down, you could see how we get a deceptive quality to that. It's not my favorite false cut, but it's usable. We'll get to my favorite one in just a second. But first, let's talk about this production. This is this is the Swivel Roo Plus. This is a flourish production of a card from the bottom of the deck that uses that swivel action off both the finger and the thumb base. I learned this from Richard Kaufman's Card Magic book back in the 80s. Again, it's an easy flourish production. Just have the card you want on the bottom of the deck. Do the swivel cut to start, swiveling it into your uh, waiting hand. Now we're gonna swivel off the thumb base. So just off the fleshy pad of the thumb. You can use your forefinger to lift up here if you want to get that packet started. And then same action, just swiveling, although this is hap it's swiveling off my thumb, off the right thumb tip. So it's not swiveling off the second finger, but the right thumb tip. And then the uh, complete, to complete the flourish, as you bring the hands together, the thumb goes in between the packets, contacting the face of that card, and then swivels it out to the top of the deck. So this is the Swivel Roo Cut Production. One more time, Swivel Roo Plus Cut Production. The four fingers swing, swings the top half into the pack, the base of the thumb then swivels off the tip of the right thumb. As you put the two halves together, the thumb goes in between and swivels that card onto the top. So. That's the swivel cut and a couple uses for it. All right, the second cut we'll talk about is the kick cut or the swing cut. And there's a few ways that you can handle the swing cut or the kick cut. The basic action is very simple. The thumb, again, same grip, thumb at the uh, inner right corner, second and third fingers at the outer right corner. Your forefinger will lift up about half of the deck from the front and then swing or kick cut it into the awaiting hand. The thumb helps this action and clamps and pulls the card to the side. Uh, you can just toss it, that's an option as well. I generally use the thumb to help. We'll be using that action in an upcoming cut. And this is the basic kick cut. I also learned this in that aforementioned Harry Lorraine book. Again, we'll talk about Harry Lorraine next week. So here's how you make the kick cut a false cut. And this was an idea developed by Bobby Bernard. Bobby Bernard and Robert Giobi taught this. This is where I learned it in Card College. It's a wonderful encyclopedic volumes of card magic. Within there is the false kick cut or false swing cut. 
And here's how you do that. You just start with the basic kick cut or swing cut action, swinging the top half into the other hand. You don't complete the cut though. Instead of that, you tap one end perpendicular to the other. So in this, in this instance, my left hand is perpendicular to my right. I drop the original bottom half to the table and then drop the top half. And this is one of my favorite quick false cuts. It's very disarming and performed casually quite deceptive. The Bobby Bernard false kick cut. I'd like to mention another application here for this. Maybe I'll do this one more time with the card face up so you can see this. There we go. That's how that happens. We're going to do a force. Yeah, a force using this action. This was developed by John Bannon and it adds a thumb riffle. So this would be a way to use that technique in a force. You say, hey, spectator, say stop. Wherever your spectator stops you, you execute that kick cut action, do the tap, and then use your forefinger to out jog the center card, which was actually the uppermost card. So done briskly and casually, hey, say stop. Okay, right about there. We'll use that card. You'll want to remember what it is. So this is a little known and disarming wonderful force from the mind of John Bannon. Just say stop, swing or kick cut. The, the middle pad of the forefinger out jogs that card of the birdie finger, and that's how you can force using the kick cut. All right, and lastly, combining these actions with a little extra special sauce, we get the Jerry Griffin blind swivel cut, the triple blind swivel in the hands cut. And uh, I learned this in... Actually, I learned this in 1995. I was the hand model for this as John Rockerbomber published it in Magic Magazine. This cut has served me well since that day. That's over 25 years of false cutting and maybe it'll serve some of you as well. Here's the scoop. We're gonna start with the same grip, thumb at the corners, fingers at the corners on the outer right ends. Uh, the, the first finger begins by lifting a third or a fourth of the deck in that kick cut or swing cut action swing cut that portion into the awaiting left hand. Begin to swing cut another parcel. As your hand comes together, here's the secret juice, the stuff. Your thumb base of the right hand and the third finger of the right hand pick up the original packet. So they're going to reclaim this. The thumb is then going to take the middle section. So between the thumb and the base of the first finger, it steals away that middle section. You continue the cut in a swivel action. So the thumb, the thumb is going to swivel off the first fingertip, that swivel cut action. It lands on the packet that you just dropped in your hand and the remaining parcel, which was, which was the original top portion, is dropped on top of everything. So one more time, we'll leave a card face up here so you can follow it along. There's our grip at the thumb and the fingers. We kick a third of the deck into the awaiting hand. As we kick another third, our thumb and third finger claims that first third, and then the thumb steals the center packet. Again, the center packet is pulled into the hand. We swivel off the uh, with the thumb and off the first finger atop that packet, and the last packet is dropped on top of all. And done in a brisk uh, fashion, that is a very disarming full deck false cut. Served me well for many moons. I hope the same for you. Okay, so while that might be a lot of information for one serving, you'll find all those cuts work kind of together. They network well, the swing cut or the kick cut and the swivel cut all kind of work together, building into that Jerry Griffin blind swivel. And this will end our discussion on cuts and or false cuts, etc. I hope this information serves you well. As always, I thank you for your time and attention and energy. That's going to do it, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.